destroy death. He's sowing on us victory and his great mercy. Good morning, dear faithful. We're blessed to be here the, together once again for the <clears throat> Divine Liturgy. We thank all of those who are here present <clears throat> with us continue to pray with us in our St. Mark Sanctuary. For all of us who are praying with us from online and from their homes, let us continue to gather together. For those who are available, please continue to light your candles and offer for our St. Mark Sanctuary to be lit. Let us all pray together this morning to the Kingdom of God. Avlo imani vasilia tu patros katwio katwai opnevmatos nin ke ai kais tu seonas ton eonon. Amen. Ini ini tu kiriu dei thomen. Υπέρτης άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρτης ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου ευσαθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενός Θεός του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Tu ai ricututu che tu metta piste o se la via che fovo ti o e si onde non afto tu che Dio dai thoman. E per tu ai episcopo e mon Alexiu tu ti mio presbiterio ti sen Cristo di aconias pandos tu cleru tu che tu lau tu che Dio dai thoman. To our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our deliverance from all affliction, <coughs> wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord prepared his throne in the heaven, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Tesres vias is the Theotokos, Sotasosonima. <laughs> 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 
Αχράντου υπερβλοημένη εν δόξου δεσπίνη Σιμών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρία με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε εαυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Ότι σον το κράτο και σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα <coughs> του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και Άγιοι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Praise the Lord my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise Him as long as I Bless you, whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord is God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Lord, reign unto the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. So, 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 Ενίκαιοι <Τι> Και η πατέρα Μαρία, ατρέπτο σε ανθρωπή σα. Στα βρωτή, σε κρυστέ ο Θεό, τα νάτων, τα νάτων πατήσα. Βίσο τη Αγία Τριάδο, σύντοξα ζωμένο στο πατρί και το αγίο πνεύμα τη. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Descended unto death, O Lord, who yourself are immortal life. Then did you mortify Hades by the lightning flash of your divinity. Also, when you raised the dead from the nether world. All the powers of the heavens were crying out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. Sophia Orthi, come let us worship and bow down before Christ our Lord, save us, O Son of God, who did rise from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. O dear God, 
strength in my song he became my salvation 
The Lord chastened me and corrected me, but he did not give me up to death. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to Corinthians. Brethren, the God and the Father of the Lord Jesus, he who is blessed forever, knows that I do not lie. At Damascus, the governor under King Aretas guarded the city of Damascus in order to seize me. But I was let down in a basket through a window in the wall and escaped his hands. I must boast there is nothing to be gained by it, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who, was 14, years, who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And I know that this man was caught up into paradise, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And he heard things that cannot be told, which man may not utter. On behalf of this man, I will boast, but on my own behalf, I will not boast, except of my weaknesses. Though if I wish to boast, I shall not be a fool, for I shall be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it, so that no one may think more of me than he sees in me or hears from me. And to keep me from being too elated by the abundance of revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan, to harass me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I besought the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I will all the more gladly boast of my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Find within our loving hearts, loving master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel instill in us also reverence of your blessed commandments so that having conquered all sinful desires we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you for you O christ our god are the light of our souls and bodies and to you we give glory together with your father who is without beginning and your all holy good and life-giving spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages amen wisdom arise let us hear the holy gospel Peace be with you all, and with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said there was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day and at his gate laid a poor man named Lazarus full of sores who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table moreover the dogs came and licked his sores the poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom the rich man also died and he was buried And in Hades, being tormented, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish and in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you have in your lifetime received your good things and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish. And besides all of this, between us and you, a great chasm has been fixed, in order that those who would pass from you, from here to you, may not be able, and none may cross from there to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, For I have five brothers, so he may warn them, lest they also be into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. And he said to them, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, 
neither will they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Again, we bow before you and we beseech you and pray you, O good and loving God, hear our souls, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your awesome table of holy altar without blame or guilt or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual understanding to the faithful who pray with us so that those they may worship you in reverence and love and partake of your mysteries without guilt or condemnation and be worthy to, of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that with one voice and with one heart, guided by your power, we may give you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. By carnal desires, pleasures, he's worthy to approach and drive
Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. Peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Through, you, Through the mercies of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that you 
united in one mind, we may say, I got peace of security, excuse me. Quiero ser el mamá que nos pedimos que dice. And all is perilous, turn up to me one in a half, and in separable. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us be attentive. All together. I believe, I believe in, in one God, God Father God, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the Scriptures. And he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen metafovu, proskomen tina yen anaforan in erini prosferi. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. On us, O mentas cardias, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Eucharistis, O mento, Kyrio, let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is his proper right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to worship you in all places of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we fell away, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We thank you for this liturgy which you have been pleased to accept from our hands, even though thousands of archangels surround you and tens of thousands of angels by the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged many eyes soaring aloft upon their wings. Ton epinikyo nim no nadunda vonda gegragonda kelegonda singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Arios, 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 Kyrios, on the night which he was delivered up, or rather he delivered himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. 
Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took this cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Piete ex aftu pandes tuto estito emamu, totis kenisti atikis toi perimon ke polone hinomenon, isafasina martion. Remember, therefore, the saving commandment all that is not done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second in glory is coming again. Tasa ek don son, si prospero man, kata panda kai di apanda, your own of your own we offer unto you in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And make that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that we may be for those who partake of them. Τόσης Παναγία σα χαράν του υπερευλοημένης εν δόξου δεσφήνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who would dwell in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and granting them protection and salvation. Remember those who do charitable works, and for those who serve your holy churches, those who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. We pray especially, O oh Lord, for those who are enduring religious persecution about the world. For Diana, Elen Eleni, Ron, Lubov, Steve, Donis, Gus, George, Sergio, Rita, Jason, Helen, Tarsi, George, Angel, Rocco, George, Victoria, Mavis, Charles, Gail, Paul, Gina, George, John, for Sarah and baby, and also for Miret and child, and for those who are battling the COVID-19 virus, and grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify your most honored and majestic name 
of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, faithful. Truly a treasure to be together once again today. We're really getting into the spirit and the fullness of our liturgical life and in all of our ministries. So the best way to keep up to date with these things is to be attentive to the emails and the messages from the office and the like so that we can go forth from there. A couple of announcements to get us going and then a very special honorary thing that we will share as well. On behalf of Father Mark and the Parish Council, I am pleased and excited to announce that our St. Mark Greek Festival is on. It will take place. That's wonderful. It will take place from January 27th to the 30th of 2022. As all of you know, this is the largest event in Boca Raton where we welcome thousands of faithful onto our church campus and to introduce to them the faith and the beauty of our church. Joe Porus, Porus is our festival chairman, and together with our faithful of St. Mark, lead us through these days of our festival. This Wednesday, very important, this Wednesday at 6.30 in our fellowship hall, we will be having a festival volunteering meeting. Any of you, we hope to see you there. And who should attend this? Anyone who wants to volunteer for the festival in any way, if you have worked for the festival for 30 years, come and join us. If you are just now volunteering, come and join us as well. If you are new to St. Mark and want to get further involved, again, come join us. We will have some music, food, fun, and some dancing to get us all in the mood. We will have sign-up sheets so that you can all be ready to serve. Come and join, in us. join us. This as our 40th year of the festival. We look forward to getting together for this beautiful event. We need everyone's help, and all are encouraged to help out. Now, we would like to honor and highlight our Daughters of Penelope today. Today, we are honoring the Daughters of Penelope at our St. Mark chapter. Today, they celebrate Founders Day, the day that their organization was founded. This Daughters of Penelope at St. Mark is a special group of women because they are truly active in our church. They join together and offer themselves for our St. Mark family. They are led by the president, Ileana, who leads by example, someone who is first in the church. I can tell you this morning she was definitely one of the first in the church. And someone who leads by example and is first to lead all of those um, who are with her. Today, also in coffee hour, the Daughters of Penelope is doing something very special for us. They are offering the fellowship hour and will be providing appetizers and beverages to celebrate their special day. In the fellowship hour, they will be passing around a simple basket. This is not just an ordinary basket, but rather all the money will go towards their scholarship fund. These scholarships will be awarded to the young ladies, graduating high school students of St. Mark. What a true blessing indeed. Please give accordingly to this wonderful opportunity. Our Daughters of Penelope chapter is a vibrant group of women with a strong Christian faith and commitment to serve our community and those in need. And indeed, we thank God for them. Today, I would like to also remind you that we will be going to St. Augustine this upcoming week. Not just going, we have a full bus going. About 50 participants will be joining us to go and to start our trip by going to OCMC, to the Mission Center. And then the next day, after some rest and fellowship, we will start with Divine Liturgy in the St. Fotio Shrine. We will have the beautiful opportunity to be there to witness this historic place where the Orthodox Christians came and then to continue with faith. For all of those who are attending, you all know who you are. Be very vigilant to your emails as the pertinent information will be going out this week. We also have the Winter Youth Rally, which we just learned is officially on. So I just had a meeting the other day 
actually with Father Stephen and some other people in order to really get the planning underway. So any of those who are participating or still want to participate, see your coaches directly in order to find the information about practice. We also have a family fall day that is coming up on the 13th of November, and it'll be an opportunity for all of our faithful, any age, to gather at Bedner's and have a little fall fun. That being said, I'd like to transition to something very extraordinary for our St. Mark faithful today. Certainly today, our own Ted Vagelos is in New York at the Archdiocesan Cathedral and is being inducted into the Order of the Archons of St. Andrew. Ted offers so much to our national church, serving as a member of Leadership 100, a member of the Archdiocese Council, and a chairman of the Youth Committee. Julie, his wife, is also a very dedicated member and is a national member of the Philoptohos Board, also doing a great deal for our St. Mark Church on a le local level. Together today we pray and rejoice with them. Father Mark, along with other archons of our St. Mark Church, are to be honored with them today. Just a few other distinctions I'd like to bring forth. I can only say this because he's not here today. So, as you know, Father Mark recently, this past weekend, when he went with his dad and his mom and some other faithful, he was awarded with the highest distinction, the highest office of married clergy, when he was offered to be a proto-presbyter of the ecumenical throne, a distinction granted directly from the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew himself. We also were pleased, St. Mark really showed up that day, and Father Alexander and Stamati were both awarded officially at that time to be senators of the ecumenical patriarch. And then also we recently learned of Helen Nicosisis being awarded and recognized as one of the greatest Hellenistic women of our day and to be given this national honor. So together, as we continue the divine liturgy, I ask that we all stand and we chant with our choir, Axios for all of them. Axios, Axios, Axios. Axios, Axia to these wonderful and well-deserving members of our faith. Again, having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our good and loving God has received them at his holy altar and heavenly altar of spiritual fragrance and may in return send down us his divine grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Μετά παρησία ακατά Χρήστο, τολμά να επικαλείστε σε τον Εφουράνιον Θεό Πατέρα και λέγει: Πάτε ρημών, ο εντή χουρανή, αγιασίτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου, όσον ουρανό και επί τη ζή. Τον άρτο νημών των επιούσιων, δώσε μην σήμερα, και άφησε μην τα ωφελήματα ημών. Ω και εμεί αφιέ με του φελέτε ημών, και εμεί εν έγκυση μα τη πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε εμά από του πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads on 
unto the Lord. Give thanks to you, invisible King, who iron and all the power and created all things out of nothing in being. And you, Master, look down upon heaven for those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guard the course of our life to, for the benefit and need of each. Say it with those who say, oh, travel with those who travel. Heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Roscommon, let us be attentive. Taiyasti, Saiyas, the holy gifts are for the holy. Every You are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. This is the last line we hear from today's epistle, from the second epistle to the Corinthians. And also in this passage this morning, we hear of something very telling of St. Paul and to each of us we learn of a thorn in his flesh, a thorn that keeps him and pierces him and struggles in the days of his time. And he recognizes before God that there is something, this thorn, that keeps him from full participation with God. Indeed, he is afflicted and is debilitated by this pain and distraction. And this reminds me of Christ's teaching in the Gospel, where he encourages us to turn the focus into bettering ourselves, looking to a change from within as a means of healing. He tells us to concentrate so intently on the splinter in our own eye, but not to 
look to someone else and to say, you have such a great wooden beam in your own vision. This idea of focusing on bettering our own selves and recognizing our own selfishness is present in today's Gospel reading from Luke. This Gospel narrative speaks of how there was a man who sumptuously fed and would gorge in the passions, and he would neglect to see the pain in his fellow man, Lazarus, who was stricken with sores and laid harmless and almost lifeless at the gate. And this man overlooked the pains inflicted by neglecting to focus on his own well-being. Instead, he indulged and ate sumptuously and feasted on the passions. So there is definitely wisdom in this. We know of the saying of the desert father, Abba Peman, that it is not our strengths that best define us, but indeed it is our weaknesses. And so today, I ask you all to find that thorn that's stricken in your side, to find that thorn that pierces your spiritual sense, to find that peace that keeps you from God. We all have something that can be remedied by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if we simply call out to Him and faithfully look to Him and say, Lord, help free me of this thorn that pierces my soul. And so our faith is what increases when we face and overcome challenges, thorns, and weak times in life. Times where we call out to God in the midst of suffering and we surrender the pain of our souls over to His great mercy and compassion. And likewise today, we continue to know that there are many forces in the world, that there are many who sumptuously feast on promoting sin, on sharing the thorn that we can pierce our side with. So my brothers and sisters, today we are coming to the place where we are freed from afflictions. We are coming to the place where our Lord calls us to be like that beggar who looks for the manna from God, for the simplest crumb that will give him life. And we too need to be vigilant that we don't overlook the person next to us or even focus so much on the cares of this worldly life and neglect our own selves. For indeed, we can have a thorn in our side, but we can see incorrectly the thorn that inflicts someone else. And so, my brothers and sisters, the message from Christ is clearly before us today to reflect and direct our attention within, asking God to locate and remove any impurity, any thorn that we may have that is keeping us from Him. Ultimately, the answer of this healing is before us at this present time. As we lift, listen to this, the Lord's merciful gift, and that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, we may all gather now to draw near. Amen. At this time, as we prepare for Holy Communion, we ask that you faithfully attend to the ushers in the parish council who will direct us to either side where Father Alexander and I will distribute Holy Communion to come forward with reverence. And if you are wearing a mask, remember to simply remove your mask, say your name, and go forth. Let us all draw together. Okay. We don't need a napkin. It's right there on your right. With the fear of God, with faith, let us all draw near. 
Alleluia, for His mercy endures forever. Alleluia, Sion, King of the Amorites. Alleluia, for His mercy endures forever. Alleluia. Alleluia, for his mercy endures forever. Alleluia. And gave the land for an inheritance. Alleluia, for his mercy endures forever. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity, the Trinity who has saved us. Amen. Let us be attentive having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-given, awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You, we thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, your precious body and blood. Direct our ways in the right path, Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. 
Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets who filled the entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, always now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Forty day memorial for Evangelia Francisco's forty days for Dr. George Eliopoulos, three years, for Calliope Papantoniu, three years, and a 12-year memorial offered for Ioannis Kokinakos. Let us all pray together for the eternal rest. Tas tri chaston zulon su soter anapavson filaton aftas istin makarian zo intin parasi filanthrope. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Oxa patrike io ke agio pnevmati si o theosi mono katavasis. Avin ke tas o dinas lisas ton pepe di menon aftos ke tas fichas ton zulon su so terana pavso. Amin ke ai ke istu se onas ton e onon amin. Only pure and immaculate virgin who gave us birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of our souls of your servants. <laughs>
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon us through his divine grace, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead as a merciful and good and loving God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercession of his all-holy, pure, and immaculate mother, the protection of the bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, and of our holy and God-bearing father, Saint Mark the Evangelist, patron of this church, the righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity guide and protect you on this day and forevermore. Please be seated. Please come forth as the parish council and the ushers direct you to do so, to receive on Dideron. And for all of the parents, just look at the worship guide to know where your kids are for Sunday school. We have a very um, intricate way that we're putting the kids in their classrooms, so stay attentive to the worship guide. Also, for anyone who is able to join us, we have Divine Liturgy tomorrow morning in honor of Saints Damianos and Cosmas, the unmercenary healers. So let us all continue to gather in prayer. Have a blessed day, and please come forth.